Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a new oatmeal breakfast with cherries this time. It's about combining, combining uh, the ingredients. That's my cooking mostly about, about variety. Yeah? I'm bringing as many different ingredients into my um, diet as possible. Yeah? Not in one single meal. One single meal I make it as easy as possible with a little small amount of ingredients usually. That's how to begin to find a new combination. And then uh, next day I make a new recipe. Every day a new recipe. I always post one on Facebook, on Instagram, <laughs> wherever, <laughs> on my YouTube channel, um, to have, share it, yeah? to share this great, um, plum. yeah, it's a treasure. It's a treasure of nature, and all the variety of food we have. And it's also, of course, it's very important, not only reflecting the biodiversity in nature, which is necessary for us to survive, all of us, also because of the health, because using different um, ingredients yeah, um, enhances also the variety of health benefits of the nutrients, because all the plants have different fibers, flavors, um, colors, you know, all these, they are all health benefits, they are all nutrients, even a flavor is a nutrient, they found out flavors have nutritious value. So amazing. We learned a lot since the, uh, the research on food, on nutrition, has begun mostly uh, by the veganism. That's before we didn't think about um, healthy food. It didn't really matter to the people. Medicine was not about food. Only with the veganism, now medicine, medicinal research, the research, nutritional science begins to find out, is it really that healthy? And now we find more and more things we didn't know before. I said that's so amazing. To me, that is about variety mostly. So I make simple recipes, but every day a new one. That's a whole different way of cooking. I never did that before. So now, today I combine, to make an oatmeal, I have a base. The base is uh, oatmeal, uh, oat broads. Yeah, you can have also rolled oats. Yeah, that's maybe easier to get. But here, fresh oats have also their advantages. They can be a little bit bitter when they are old. So a rolled oats has advantage that doesn't turn bitter. This is fresher. And if you keep it in the refrigerator, as I do it, then they don't turn bitter that fast. And you don't can you cannot take too much. This is three tablespoons and a handful of macadamia nuts. The other story, if I blend oat groats, fresh oat groats with macadamia nuts, they are not bitter anymore. Other ingredients with oats make the oats slightly turn bitter or tart. So the macadamia is different. I don't know why. I know the macadamia nuts have a little stronger flavor, more intense, more savory a little bit, as, expo uh, as opposed to cashews, who are more sweet, I would say. But these um, macadamias, as I said, they are perfect together with oats. I will do more with this, yeah, for sure. And to make it creamy, yeah, to give it a little bit more creaminess, a mass of texture, I put uh, two bananas, I cut them into small pieces, together into this uh, cream. So I, that, is a, that could be a bit the oatmeal, the base of an oatmeal. Put a little bit of water into it, and blend it, and you have an oatmeal. You can combine it with fruits. Today, I will season it, refine it with cacao, so like a chocolate oatmeal. Yeah. I have here two tablespoons of cacao powder and just uh, four dates, small dates, maybe two large or four small dates. Pin it, of course, they go in. Uh, I think I have to uh, sweeten the cacao a little bit, not only with the banana, because the banana and the cacao, they can turn in a little bit the sour flavor. Bananas and cacao, it's not really perfect together. I rather be, uh, prefer dates with cacao. Even raisins don't work so good with cacao, that good with cacao, but okay. Now I have uh, some dates here. Let's see if it works. I will put some water, not too much, because I, want, I don't want to have it too runny. I can always let it add a little bit of water later. So now the blender dance. <laughs> The 
mold is pretty much even now. That means the blending is done. And I look at the texture, it looks perfect, really. Wonderful texture. The color is amazing. Just the right amount of cacao powder, not too much, not too little. Now let's see the taste, the flavor, most important, what that's like. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Great. There is this background from the oak roads. That is a strong background. A little hairy. <laughs> not hairy, that is not good for food. <laughs> It has a little bit of resistance, something in the texture, but very nice, it's very nice, like earthen a little bit. But the, the, the bitterness of the cacao and the sweetness of the dates, they're very nice, it's very nice and creamy. So let it sit for a while and I combine the other ingredients of the fruit salad. So now, main today is cherries. I wanted to make cherries because we have summer and we have the most amazing cherries here outside. And we can get it in the health food shops everywhere. They're really delicious right now. That's how cherries have to taste. Yeah, they should taste like that. Really sweet and this special cherry flavor. And they go very nice together with the bananas. I sliced them thinly today, especially thinly, because I want to put them into a glass, small glasses, so I don't, I cannot use uh, large ingredients. They have to be small, otherwise they don't fit into the glass. Not many of them, at least. So this is an equal amount of cherries and bananas. A little bit more cherries, maybe. Um, and now, the cherries are just what I want to have together with the cacao. Yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate and cherry is an amazing combination. So that's why I tried it. And I will look, I taste it again now, because maybe after sitting for a while, the cream might have turned a little bit firmer. Thick, thickens, thickens up a little bit. Hmm? No? Mm. It is a little bit thick, and a little bit of water I add, not too much, just to give it a little bit more creaminess, runniness, just quickly. <laughs> just stirring on your test. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll show you now what it looks like. It's a very nice chocolate cream here. And we have everything together. We have this wonderful filling oat because the protein is high in oats. So it's filling by itself. And also the chocolate, cacao powder is very filling. There's a lot of healthy ingredients in the cacao powder. So these together will make a nice breakfast here and it's definitely the whole the whole meal and I can also I could also um, put something away maybe um, a part of it I don't eat right now I could put it in the refrigerator and eat a little bit later as a dessert or so it's really amazing breakfast cherries and chocolate is perfect and the oatmeal the oat grown the oat roads they add the protein that makes it even more keeping I hope you enjoy there are so many varieties of nice breakfast I hope you enjoy my variety too, my videos daily. You can subscribe and leave on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. You can give me a thumbs up if you like the video. You can also um, find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Everywhere I also answer the comments and questions, suggestions. Always happy. See you soon.